Katie. The design looks very reminiscent of your tattooing. It's strong line weight. Everything is very sharp when it comes to your outlines. Overall, the design is lined up nicely. Craig. The detail on the kanji is nice. I like the depth, cutting out of the clay, give it some strength and weight to it. The lines on the ends of the arms and the legs seem pretty rapidly scratched in. The craftsmanship could have been a little cleaner. Dave. I'm having a hard time with how light the flowers are. They're really hard to read from any sort of distance. What's missing here is really hard cut in angles just to give them the craftsmanship and the finished look of getting a clean line. Duffy. One of the things I like about your design, they don't always have to be straight lines to be effective. And the depths of your lines are very deliberate and symmetrical. So it really gives this thing a standout look from a distance. Cruzman. Great use of the space. I like the way that you use the tools for different effects. And overall, the craftsmanship is very strong because of the depths, the cutouts, the different line weights. It's a really strong piece. Thank you very much. Keto. The amount of depth you're able to cut out of this thing and keep it as clean and crisp as it is, it's very sharp. It gives it a lot of dynamic shadowing, and it just makes it very legible from a distance. Strong look. I appreciate it. Big C's. From a distance, it's hard to read. It has a very unfinished look to it. I mean, I'm not a sculptor, you know. If you would have varied your line weights a little bit to make the images stronger so that it's not all the same, then it wouldn't be as camouflaged. In a medium that you've never used before, attempting a koi fish and a lot of intricate Japanese detailed subject matter was absolutely the worst way of going about this. Today we're testing lines on dogu sculptures. Who excelled in your mind today, Oliver? Definitely Chris. The attention to detail inside the big cutouts took a lot of work. It looks like a manufactured piece. I definitely think that Matt stands out strong to me. The water was incredibly simple, but it's some of the best water we've seen ever. Cruzman gave us some impressive work on this thing. His layout, both front and back, were very beautiful. We've seen Cruzman struggle in these flash challenges in the past, and maybe this is the rebirth of Cruzman in this competition. I think Cruzman turned it on today. We got to pick it down to a win. We all agreed? Yeah. Let's let him know. All right. Today, you had to create an elaborate design on an ancient Japanese figure. The judges have decided the winner of today's Flash Challenge is... Ink Master, Master vs. Apprentice. New episodes Tuesdays at 10, or watch it now on the Spike app. Earl, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. I feel like I was robbed $100,000 because of the rules, and you should always follow the rules, but obviously here, you don't have to.